Hi guys, let me introduce you to the Discrete Math Made Easy app used for um, TI Inspires does not run on computers but only on the handheld TI Inspires available at tiinspireapps.com um, What this app contains are all the topics that you would be uh, learning about in a discrete math made easy class also called finite math made easy or also called operations research made easy course okay so let me just give an overview logic algebra functions polynomials and sequences points lines quadratic equations complex numbers combinatorics probabilities uh, vectors, matrices, Markov change and stochastic matrices, linear programming and the famous simplex algorithm, uh, business applications such as marginal profit, demand analysis, etc. and also game theory. So it is a very uh, complete app. You will see step-by-step -step solutions and you also get to read about um, in from in important laws such as for example uh, proposition laws you click them and you can scroll through them and um, or the other one is tr uh, the truth tables you can look up all the important truth tables no problem at all algebra solve any equation two by two system step by step functions can be explore domain range everything that you would also be learning in a pre-calculus class in fact there's uh, quite a few pre-calculus material in here that we don't focus on right now so let's jump straight to the specific material that you will be learning in a discrete math class so vectors let's go into all-in-one um, vector explorer you enter a vector such as 1 comma 2 learn about its length what's the unit vector pointing the same direction the angle the vector makes with the x-axis um, express the vector in polar coordinates matrices um, okay let's look at a simplex algorithm well the tricky part is only to enter the constraints and the objective of a, a simplex algorithm. So observe here, this is one row, the first row followed by a semicolon and then the second row followed by another semicolon. So let me show you what it then looks like, turns into a matrix like I scroll up all the way this is what your input then looks like in matrix format okay the bottom row is the object function objective function and then of course you do the usual procedure in a simplex um, algorithm you find the pivot locations etc so pivot locations are found step by step so we're clearing the corresponding column and do this procedure until we arrive at the final solution in this case uh, the variables x1 x2 x3 have these values and that gives us a p for profit of 132 everything step by step Markov chains can also be done here probability vectors so you just similarly enter a matrix such as this one 1 0 1 half 1 half it is statistic stochastic since both rows and add up to 1 um, we can find a terminal state of a entered matrix same matrix as we had before we just have to keep raising it to a higher and higher exponent and once we do that we arrive at our fixed state terminal state 0 0.3 0 0.7 the terminal probability vector ok 
Okay, so if I were to change it, let's say 3 fourth and 1 fourth to make it a stochastic matrix, we end up at 0.4 and 0.6 as our terminal probability vector. Linear programming, find maximum. Well, we have to enter our profit function on top and our con um, conditions below, right? X plus Y less or equal to 8. And if I scroll up, we do our usual analysis. We're going to check out all the vertex points. 0, 0 and evaluate the profit function. Well, that will turn out to be 0 if both x and y are 0. Plug in 2 and 6, etc. until we find the maximum, which in our case turns out to be 280. Minimum would be 0. Business applications, marginal profit, enter the price function depending on quantity and you can compute easily marginal profit, actual, actual profit, etc. Game theory is only a, is a read-only section where you can read about all the major topics of game theory. Anyways, this and many more things in Discrete Math Made Easy available at tiinspireapps.com. You will always have free upgrades all your life and uh, you at this side you also find other apps for math and science thanks for watching